Good morning, everyone. This is so awkward. There's a massive crane outside my living room and like the men can see directly in and it's so awkward. So I've had to put my dressing gown on this morning because I was like, oh my God, I don't know how much they can like actually see in here, but it is the most gorgeous wintry day outside today. And there's still some snow in London. I came to London last night. I'm shooting with Dior this morning and then I've got a long shop dinner, so it's all very fish going on around here. Tomorrow, I'm also shooting with Gucci Beauty, which is just wild. Like, this month has been insane. I haven't fully processed it yet, but crazy, crazy. If you do want to see any of the stuff, then it's all going to be on Instagram. Um, literally with over the next couple days, so please come and say hi on most things. It would mean a lot. Thank you very much for your support, everyone. I'm gonna get questions on this road, but everyone that comes to my house is always like, oh my God, where's that from? Because it's one of these like waffle ones, but it's pink. It's like a light pink. And Sunny's Face actually sent it to me. They very kindly put my name on it. It's from Sunny's Face, which now shipped to the US, which you guys are so, so lucky. Um, next time I go, I'm definitely gonna order some stuff from my hotel because I love the range in this flat because there's no Christmas decorations. Um, but I am gonna go home this weekend and I think that will probably be me for um, Christmas. This will be the last time I'm in London, which is crazy. I did some oh, that's very nice. This one's a bit that's more complicated. Quite cute. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> oh wow, okay, let's do that. That all looks very Christmassy. Should, should we do that? Oh my god. This has to be shot with the trunk. Oh, okay, perfect. I think they're very Christmassy, so we'll go with those. Because I like the gold and the pearls on these. Wow, how stunning. Yeah, that is so stunning. I mean, look at this. Little hat. I've never seen it in this shape before, and I really like yeah, that it's shape. A shape. It's oh, called is it? Lady D Joy, and this is the micro. Version. Oh, I love that. I know. Oh, How cute. cute is she? Okay, yeah, that's nice. We'll go with that one, so I think. Lovely. So we are. Uh, Shoot. Did you call me? Yes. Yeah, sorry. We've got a fine jewelry as well. If you want to add it on. Your... Let's see what we have. Maybe like a bracelet will do. Yeah. Let me take off my watch because it's. Yeah, maybe a ring. Yeah. I feel like I could just slap them up. Yeah. This is so Christmassy. I can't. It is. It's like the Christmas music and everything is so Christmassy. Yes. Great. That's at the Dior pop up in Harrods and it's literally like a huge gingerbread cafe. I don't know if you can see it properly. I'll like put more clips in afterwards, but it's absolutely insane. I think this is the best Christmas display I've ever seen in Harrods. And I'm in my little outfit. It's like a nutcracker, obviously full Dior. I will show you these, even like the little biscuits that you get are all Dior inspired. Ready? Morning. Look who it is. <laughs> everyone from mrs claus that was honestly the most christmasy i felt all year it was so much fun i've just got back to the flat they very very kindly let me wear my outfit home it was quite cold in the last bit that we were shooting outside but i'm obsessed with this blazer but i've got the most incredible all red set on obviously the whole look is dior even down to my little shoes they're like little dolly shoes i love them and I just love it. I feel like when I'm in my like 50s and 60s, this is how I'll be green people in my house around Christmas time in outfits like this, like all year round. No matter what time of day, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. Hello, welcome. It's just turned 10 o'clock. Um, so it was a very, very, very early start. So I've just grabbed some breakfast. I was in such a Christmassy mood after this morning, honestly. I was just like, I'm so ready for Christmas. So I bought this downstairs and it's my first mug of the season. And then I also got a Christmas lunch panini because I'm just feeling so festive. Oh my God, that's the first time I've had anything to drink this morning. 
I really need some water, but I'm gonna try out my Christmas panini. What side? I always check to see what side has more food in it. I think that side. Um, oh my god. <laughs> eat it at all until november december wow that's the baby okay i need her i need to start getting ready i'm gonna be like sure where i left off um the last time i vlogged but i'm opening a few very exciting packages so i thought it'd be quite fun to unbox them together the first one i just opened i actually can't show you because it's a christmas present i think the person might watch this but um i've just opened this one from Giorgio armani see what's inside now i will say this i was really loving the my way perfume um over the last couple months and i smashed it which is so frustrating because I actually had two and because I had two I can't remember who was around my house but I was like oh I've got two and I love this one um I've just opened it so you can take this one like it's fine and then I smashed my one which is really annoying so I'd love this to be my way but I think it might be something for Christmas dear Sean wishing you a wonderful holiday and happy new year from Armani Beauty Ooh, let's have a look shall we Ooh, it's C passion I don't think I've smelled this one before. And what else is in there? I think this is a red lip. Yep, a lip power. These are really, really good. I've been wearing the Armani foundation a lot. I think I did a video, I think I did a video showing it, yeah. Um, but it's incredible. So let's see what this perfume is like. Oh, wow. Oh, yay, oh my God, I love it. You never know with perfume, oh yes. You never know with perfume when you're being, oh, that's incredible. Oh my God, I might like that even more than the my way. I've never heard of this before. See, passion. Fruity, sexy, and clean is how I can describe it. Like when I say fruity, I think people automatically think like that very overly sweet vanilla smell, but it's not like that at all. It's like a very sweet, feminine, sexy scent. Oh, that is stunning. Go and sniff that because that is gorgeous. Get into that. My hair, I'm really happy with the volume at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if I've talked about it in this vlog, but I'm having a real moment with my hair. It's falling out drastically. I came off the pill a couple months ago and it's made my hair fall out like really, really badly. An operation a couple years ago and that made my hair fall out, like fall out really bad. But I was very aware after I had the operation, they will all come back and it did this is next level i just used um it's called the three inches blow dry spray and it's completely added inches and it's completely fluffed up my hair made it so much more thicker than it actually is so i'm going to link it if you have thin hair but i don't even know how to show you this of how much hair i've lost maybe if i lean over oh my god look <gasps> can you guys see that this is with like an insane amount of root spray the three inches blow dry like this is all with all the products in how much hair i've lost can you see that it is just crazy i've never seen anything like it it's insane oh my god look at that that's my worst patch is like around the sides of my head so that's the whole journey so i'll talk about that in another video because it does need its whole moment but um yeah it's been wild <laughs> home out this day i've actually been filming all morning morning pup <laughs> he makes me laugh the trousers are actually from adenola and i really really like them they are so so soft the material is a little bit different to my sl ones they're the same like flared kind of thing my hoodie is new sl society i say new i don't actually know if i'm bringing it out or not um we've reworked this so many times like it's crazy and the sleeves i'm still not happy with but then we'd have to change the body again 
so I don't know. I know I have freakishly long arms, and on the model it looks great, but I want to be able to wear my own stuff, and I'm not sure. But this is my outfit today. Would you like to come downstairs? Or not? He loves sleeping in the dressing room. On your ribbon, oh beautiful. And he likes having it by his paws when he sleeps. Look at my outfit, if you're wondering. I've got a thing of using an Australian accent at the moment. This color on me. Um, if you are mixed or of a similar skin tone, this light gray is gorge. I don't know, are we gonna have to team up because these go perfectly together? And I'm kind of obsessed with them. Let's go downstairs. Also, these are from Christmas last year. Um, please excuse the markings. I just wheeled my suitcase up here and it's so dirty now. I'm going to have to clean it. Um, these are from Christmas last year. They're from Ugg. Surprise, surprise. But they are the coziest thing. If you're looking for a last minute Christmas gift. I actually saw them on Amazon recently. They are incredible. I wear them every single day. So, yes to these i have a lot going on this week um i'm finishing off for work i finish in the next couple of days which will be stunning i've worked really hard over the last period of the year um i think i focused so much on sl at the beginning and then to be able to properly focus on like youtube and instagram stuff and like some really incredible brands has been very nice it's nice to, like kind of see everyone again i'm gonna go downstairs to start prepping the utility room which sounds so boring i know guys i'm a grown-up now you know grown up things that i have to do because it needs to be used for all the stuff for christmas and it's currently got all my stuff in when i'm shopping and i hide it in the utility room Just to give you an idea of what's going on down here i started to unbox all the stuff for christmas so like all the drinks for example um I've been traveling with my MacBook to and from London, desktop even, because my laptop broke in the most busiest period. So I completely cleared the floor. This was full to the brim from the window up of loads of boxes I had in here. Found some towels that I'm gonna wash because we're gonna need those in the next couple weeks. Um, cleared the space and put these in here and I'm just gonna start bringing in all the stuff we bought for Christmas. Also cleared out this in here and put these in so kitchen rolls drinks and then just our general like laundry stuff is still down there and that's the plan for the next couple days um i have some spare ones of these which are stunning um i've currently got them on the island table and i've got some spare ones so i've just got them out and accessible in case we need them a christmas candle that i had bought and completely forgot about and We've only got a matter of weeks to burn it now, so I'm going to take this into the hallway. Oh, we finally have a clear floor. I don't think you understand how crazy it was bringing all that stuff into the house and trying to get it all sorted out. But finally, I feel like the kitchen is semi-ready for the big day now. I'd filmed me going to get all these Christmas decorations and I looked back on my camera and I just couldn't find them. I don't know if I just didn't press record or accidentally deleted them. I have no idea, but my tablescape I actually made myself. Underneath was literally like four pounds from the range. It was so inexpensive. Then I also got the candle holders from there as well and they were two pounds each, like, how incredible do they look? They almost look like antique. The candles are also from them as well. It was two for a pound. Honestly, I was buzzing. I felt like I was back in like my bad on a bougie budget when I was in there. I was having the best time. So I also picked up some of these. Haven't lit them. There's a rule that they're not being lit until the big day. I've got some stand-ins for the time being, but just to show you what it looks like. I think are really gorgeous. Again, from the range. Honestly, their stuff was incredible in there. Um, I think these were like a pound each, so I got loads of them. I think we have about eight in the house because I just think they look so pretty. Again, I probably won't like them until like Christmas Eve. Glittery, they've got a shimmer to them and in the evening, it just looks so beautiful. Chalky station, which I think I've showed. The um, cake stand is already out and ready to go. I've got to stop my baking soon. These were from like a random garden center, but I absolutely love them. I originally had some flowers in there um, but I've got another set of flowers on this island and it was just becoming a bit much so I've swapped them out and I think it works perfectly 
we've got some lints and then I've got two more jars that are a little bit bigger than this. Again, they're not being put out until a couple days before Christmas. Um, and then this will be like a whole sweet station. Just put that there, it's like cookie scented and it smells unreal. Obviously we have the tree. I've got my little gingerbread mint over there, which is so cute. The tree I feel like is so festive down here compared to upstairs. It's very red, it's very glitzy. It's very like over the top Christmas and I kind of love it. I've never done a tree like this before. Very good to have one room of the house done and all packed away in the morning and stuff. So maybe someone can help me, but yeah, I love how festive it feels in the kitchen at the moment. Whilst I was in London, I didn't get to open my advent calendar. So I thought I would open a couple days with you guys because it's been incredible so far. Like I've got some really nice bits. So I thought I'd show you what was not opened yet. Ooh, aromatherapy associates. I actually really like this stuff. I've got some stuff. I've got this in the bathroom, so perfect got a second one i love this it smells incredible there she is oh my god whoa damn oh my god honestly this advent calendar is one of my favorites it's the harrods beauty one this is a dr dennis gross firmer eyes and it's a full sized the majority of the stuff in here has been full sized which is crazy i love dr dennis gross I've literally gone backwards here but i need 16 and then i'm all caught up from when i went London oh my god how insane wait this pro collagen rose facial oil oh my goodness in like pure tidy mode at the moment so I think I'm just gonna go through the rest of the house while I've got the day at home and just fire through it like I did down here and get it all cozy and then I think I might just relax and have a day of relaxation um i feel really happy to be home today okay now downstairs is done i've come upstairs and put on the cheesiest christmas film i can find and i'm just gonna relax i think for the rest of the day i might actually end this vlog here because i just started to look over all the clips and it's already like nearly a 15 minute vlog so i'm gonna end it here i've got a ton more stuff that i've been filming but i'll separate it into a few different vlogs sit and watch this now and get really cozy and maybe like order a hot chocolate but I will see you guys in a couple days and I'll give you part two of the next part of the vlog.